78% of Americans now view fast food as a luxury, according to a new study from LendingTree, which polls Americans about their financial situation. In recent videos, I've talked about the bottom falling out of consumer spending, with lower-income buyers cutting back on everything from McDonald's to Kraft, Mac and Cheese, a millennial's best friend. It turns out that's not just the bottom, that is the whole Kahuna burger as fully four in five Americans now say that fast food is a luxury and they are cutting back. In case you're wondering why, before the pandemic, a Big Mac cost $3.99. Today, it's $8.29. A Chipotle chicken burrito could be had for six fifty dollars before Biden inflation. Now, it is $10.70. Chicken nuggets and the basic cheeseburger have doubled or even tripled. This has driven a typical family meal at, say, McDonald's from $35 or $40 to $60 or $70. According to the survey of 2,000 Americans, three in four used to eat fast food at least once a week. But a majority, 62%, are now eating it less because of prices, with 65% of them reported being shocked by fast food prices. As you'd expect, people who are cutting back the most include parents with young kids, Gen Z, so those under 30, and women. But even among high-income Americans, more than half are eating less fast food. Which, granted, might not be a terrible thing health-wise, but presumably they are cutting back even more on full-service dining in a country where restaurants and food service employ 14 million people. As Lending Tree notes, quote, the days of using fast food to help make ends meet are long gone. McDonald's went from a little helper on the budget to a little hole in the budget. So what happened? Well, the Fed printed $6 trillion, the federal government spent $8 trillion in deficits, all with an assist from regulations, industrial-scale shoplifting, thanks to hugs for us prosecutors, and, of course, the occasional riot. This clown show of government negligence has driven fast food prices up by between 41 percent, going by the Fed's data, to 55 percent, going by actual fast food menus, while basic items like chicken nuggets or cheeseburgers, which are staples for the poor, have gone up 200 percent or more. Now, I've mentioned in recent videos that fast food, specifically the Big Mac, has long been a standard inflation measure. In fact, it's more trusted by financial markets than government statistics. So if inflation has been not 20 or 30 percent, as government statisticians say, but the 40 to 50 percent that fast food says, it means we could be a whole lot poorer than we think. And if so, going by the rest of the statistics, that misery is falling squarely on the lower, middle and the working class who are bereft of Fed pumped assets to shield them from money printing and money spending orgies in Washington. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. When economic historians try to see through the fog of data, we focus on a few key numbers, things like life expectancy, house size, car ownership rate, and eating out versus making it home. Starting in 2000, accelerating since 2008, across the board, these indicators are either grinding to a halt or they're actually reversing. The elite cannot see it because it's not happening to them. They're doing better than ever, ensconced in their trillion dollar money siphons the regular Americans who pay their salary who have to cut back on the Happy Meals. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.